Hey guys, it's Russell back. And on today's video, we're going to be performing what you would do for a spring tune-up on the Honda HRX 217. Now, it is almost the end of uh, December. We're way out of the cutting season, but I wanted to go ahead and do this and show you guys exactly what I do on my lawn equipment to uh, get it ready for the cutting season. The very first thing that I want to do, because this is a mulching mower, and that's why I bought it. Um, the probably the best attribute this mower has is how uh, well it cuts and how well it mulches the grass. So uh, I already replaced the blades. Now on the Honda, specifically this uh, mower here, it uses a double blade system. It's got a, a lower and an upper blade. And I went back with the factory Honda blades. Uh, they don't recommend that you sharpen these. I got um, my hour meters at 40 and a half hours. And want to start the season off with a good fresh set of blades. This is not very expensive to get the actual factory blades. We're going to re be replacing the air filter with a uh, Honda air filter. And we're also going to be replacing the spark plug with a Honda spark plug. Or, I'm sorry, an NGK spark plug. Now the question is, after we do that, what else do we do? And the most important thing, I think, is the oil. Um, so, am I going to go back with the Honda oil that it came with? Am I going to go with the, uh, the Amsoil small engine oil? Heck, am I even going to go with Mobile One? Um, I have, you guys <laughs> know from uh, a lot of my videos that I love Amsoil and the reason people always say, well, you talk about it because you sell it. I don't sell Amsoil. Okay, let's get that out of the way first. I don't sell Amsoil. I used to in the past. Uh, if somebody wanted it, I'd get a commission, but I haven't, that's been years and years and years. I signed up as a dealer with Amsoil because I use so much of the product. Every vehicle, the Jetta, the truck, the Mercedes, all my mowers, all my equipment, lawn equipment, pressure washer, everything has Amsoil in it. So I use a lot of the products and it just makes sense because I can sign up as a dealer and now they have a preferred customer program and you can sign up and um, get the same price as a dealer uh, gets the discount. So it makes sense for me to do that. I've been using Amsoil since the early 90s. Before that, had not heard of it. Uh, really hadn't even thought about synthetic oil because back then it wasn't very common. Um, but anyway, be that as it may, uh, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Okay? You want to use something else? You want to use Walmart SuperTech? You know, your granddad's granddad used uh, bean oil. Use whatever you want. I'm just showing you what I use. I have never, ever had a failure on an engine that I have been using oil whether it's car um, lawn equipment motorcycle whatever so that's what I'm going to be using I'm not going to use the Honda oil uh, this is well to me this is the best oil that you can get for small engines so let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how we're going to do the maintenance It's very very easy to do this um, in fact let me just flip the mower around The, uh, the air filter right here takes absolutely no tools at all. You just snap these little uh, tabs down and it comes out. Now this air filter is the original air filter. I did vacuum it out, but it's absolutely filthy. Uh, I think it's important to use the factory Honda air filters because they're very, very good. I've already cleaned um, this out previous and uh, obviously that's the clean side and we're just going to take this air filter and um, the reason that I like these they fit very snug in here okay and we'll just hook this back there's two little arms that you uh, Hook it into and then these go into the slots just like that we've got our new air filter done okay 
Next, I'll uh, show you how we change the spark plug. It's very simple. This is stuff you do not need to take your mower to the shop to do. Okay, just pull the uh, spark plug boot off. It, it probably will be a little tight. It's a little cold out here, so. And then I'm gonna get the appropriate uh, socket and we'll remove this. All right, so I've got a 7 8 socket here. That's the size that the spark plug is. Comes out real easy. All right, and this is the NGK BPR5ES. That's exactly what we're going to be replacing it with. These come pre-gapped from the factory. And uh, before we put this on, I want to put a little uh, copper anti-seize on there. The reason that I'm doing that is because the spark plug is steel and the, thre the head of the uh, mower that it's going into is aluminum. So this will just prevent um, seizure of the spark plug. So I'm just going to put that on there like that my finger and this is um, 3M copper anti-seize you can use this on brakes where metal to metal is um, anywhere where the spark plugs things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and thread that in should go in very 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 easy and tighten it up So just snug, that's it. Put the boot back on. You should hear a click, okay? And the only thing left for us to do is to do the engine oil. But before I do the engine oil, I'm gonna run the engine up, make sure there's some fuel in there. Run the engine up, get it up to temperature, and that way we'll be able to drain the oil more effectively. All right, so I've got the mower completely warmed up. And this is the easiest way to do these. Remove the dipstick. We'll clean all that up. I put the two wheels on the side on some blocks. And I've got a drip pan. And I just tilt it right over just like that. Absolutely no mess whatsoever. Hardly anything comes out. Okay. So once I'm done with that, I should move it off the blocks. And then I'm going to get my um, hams oil and uh, we'll put 12 ounces back in and then check the level. All right, so I have a, this is called a ratio right, I believe. Yeah, ratio right. So I'm gonna start by going ahead and putting uh, 12 ounces of oil in here. Now this is the 10W30, that's what Honda recommends. A lot of mowers use straight 30 weight. Um, if that's the case, you can still use this grade of oil. Now, to make this easier, a lot of times 
I'll flip the mower up on its side like this. So I'm pouring straight down. Instead of at an angle. You want to use a little funnel, you can. Okay. And I'll take a dipstick. I'm just going to uh, hit it with some brake parts cleaner just to get any residual oil that was on there. This thing gets really dirty. Okay. And that looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run the mower for just a little while and then we'll check the level again. Alright, the mower runs great. So we've got our oil change done. We've got a new air filter and a new spark plug and new blades. And we're right at 40.7 total hours. I'll let it run about 10 minutes. And the mower is now ready for the season. One thing that you do want to do is to make sure to always, always, always use non-ethanol gasoline in your mower. Uh, when you're storing it for the winter, turn the pet cut off and uh, just let it run for a little while. We'll let it run completely out of fuel. And then that's it. You're ready for the uh, spring season before all your neighbors are. So guys, if this... Uh, if this uh, video was helpful on your mower maintenance, and it, you may not necessarily have a HRX, this, this is pretty much the same for any mower, whether it's a riding mower, um, push mower, or um, zero turn. The other more expensive mowers may have filters, oil filters, and you know a lot more oil, but it's the same basic uh, maintenance you want to do and to make sure the air filter is clean put a new plug in there every season and um, make sure the oil has got clean oil so guys i appreciate your viewership please subscribe if you haven't done so if you uh, want to see more of these type of videos just let me know and uh, put that down in the comments